Okay guys, uh, I got myself a grandfather and I got the uh, grandfather connect and uh, the grand coat and the spudge water heater. So this is just a quick unboxing and uh, let's unbox her and see what we've got. So there we go, got the uh, grandfather sparge water heater, excellent, I'll put that and it has different de degrees on it, oh, yeah, it goes up to boil to zero, keep warm heating, excellent. Now we will open up the grandfather it's like Christmas all over again assembling this. Alright. First things first. We've got our oh and they come pre put together. That's nice. See they've uh, they've put the uh, silicone edging on the um, the grain pipes um, the mash pipes um, base and lid so that's good and here we are. With the original, the original controller, which I'm not going to, well, I will for the purpose of this video, I suppose. And originally I thought to myself, I, I thought, originally I thought to myself, Oh, I can use this for something else and then I realized actually it serves as a good backup if anything should happen to the Bluetooth connect I can use this until I get the other one fixed if it should ever break down so it's just good to have as a spare here's our filter and okay and we've got the wart chiller, which is the newly designed wart chiller, which has the plastic shroud around it. Let's get this in here. Oh, tore that off. Yeah, I've been told a good idea will be to get a bit of star sand and put it around the edge to make it sort of slippery there we go, we've got 
that in. And that can just sit in the top. And we can put that off to one side. And put that off to there. We've got the recirculation pipe. The gives you a detailed instructions on how to okay. put it together. So I've put the thermal well in, which is just a matter of it come in a bag like that. I just unscrew the housing nut, place it through there, do the housing nut up finger tight. Now. Okay, we're about to plug her in. First things first, I will open my grandfather app, I will turn the Bluetooth on, and I'll plug it in. Yes, we have effectively paired up. Okay, so what I want to do is 15 litres of water at 60 degrees. 60 degrees. And there, we have it working. Oh, hang on. What's that set to? There we go. Now we've got it pumping. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen. We have got action. I'll be back uh, once we uh, once we've done this. So we should have a few uh, interesting videos coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, some awesome brews. I can now do step mashing. I can preheat the the if I need to do a brew on a day that I'm otherwise busy and I want to minimize the time it takes I can preheat the um, the strike water while I'm away I can delay heat um, you know there's quite a few cool features that this has now that it didn't used to have. I mean, it was it was a good system anyway, but you had to manually input every step that you had to do. With this, it's kind of semi-automated. It's kind of automated, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, I can't freaking wait till brew day. Cheers! Drink good beers.